No, it does not. Divorce brings your marriage to an end, but the matrimonial finances remain unresolved unless there is a court order that deals with all claims that either you and your spouse have against each other. So the court can make orders that deal with your income, dealing with child maintenance or spousal maintenance. The court can also make orders about your capital assets. There can be a lump sum order that is the transfer of literally a sum of money from one spouse's bank account to the other. An order for an asset to be transferred by way of a property transfer order, whereby the matrimonial home or any other properties that are owned can be transferred or a pension sharing order where your pension is shared on a percentage basis and a share of that is placed into the other spouse's pension. No, you don't. You can reach an agreement with your spouse about the matrimonial finances and have this turned into a consent order, a court order made with the party's consent that will be binding upon both of you once it has been approved and sealed by the judge. To reach an agreement, you can agree matters directly with your spouse, but if you cannot, then you can look at an alternative form of dispute resolution, such as mediation or negotiation through solicitors. If you do not want to have your standard court proceedings, you could also look at arbitration to try and resolve your difficulties if the issue between the two of you is a narrow one. Ultimately, yes, you do. Certain financial remedy orders, such as pension sharing order, cannot be implemented without your decree absolute or final order being pronounced. This means if you do not resolve the matrimonial finances within divorce process, you can be left vulnerable. If it is that you get divorced and you've never had an order with regards to the matrimonial finances and your now ex-spouse then dies, you could find that you are in some difficulty to get provision out of their estate. Yes, you should still get an order that simply dismisses all claims that either of you have against the other. This is called a clean break consent order. There is no time limit on your financial claims. And so even if right now you have both decided to retain what you already have, if in the future one of you has a windfall, the other one could then decide that they are seeking a share of those assets after all. If one of you remarries, then you have fallen into what's called the remarriage trap, because save for making a claim for pensions, you can no longer claim against your ex-spouse, but they could still bring a claim against you, and that could cause complex issues in your new marriage as well. Ultimately, if you cannot agree, then one of you will need to make an application to the court so that the judge can make a decision about how the finances should be dealt with. There are normally three hearings within that process, but the first two are to try and push the parties towards settlement, with the judge giving an indication as to how they feel they would resolve the matter at final hearing in the hopes that the parties can utilise that information to then reach an agreement between them.